it might be one. It might be on the same day when X Men Apocalypse comes out. Whatever. I'm just gonna review the movie right now because I'll be seeing it tonight and I'll have to review it tomorrow. So X Men Apocalypse review coming tomorrow. Anyway, we have X Men. So X Men. I'm just gonna take these off because they're not that cool. X-Men, directed by Brian Singer and stars Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, um, Ian McKellen, Frankie Javin, Jane Matthew, Bruce Davis, Rebecca Romain, Samus Ray Park, and Anna Paquin. Um, huge cast of people, and what is the story of the movie? Born into a world with prejudice, our ch with prejudice, our children passes extraordinary and dangerous powers, the result of unique genetic mutation. Cyclops unleashes bolts of energy. And th this doesn't tell the story at all. I just I watched the movie. I'll tell you the story. So what is the story of X Men? Well. There's a lot of controversy around mutants. Um, a lot of people think that they should be turned in, killed, and yeah. We have one side of mutants, which are the X-Men, who want to stay away and help people, and, Mag and are led by Charlie Xavier, and Magneto's side is where he wants to destroy all the humans because if I go to this, it will be spoiler heavy. So let's just say this: he is a Jew from the Holocaust. He's a survivor of the Holocaust, and he witnessed a lot of tragedy, which leads him to grow. Anger her against humans, and that's why he wants to turn all of them into mutants. <sighs> the story is really complicated to tell out. It is easier to know about it in the movie, but it is complicated to speak out of, if you know what I mean. But you guys just want to hear my thoughts. What are my initial thoughts on the movie? It is damn great. Like, good job, Brian Singer. Have a cookie. The let's go into the negatives first because I really want to praise this movie a lot, but I want to get into the negatives first. So, what are my negatives about this movie? Well, some of the CGI. Doesn't hold up in the standards. As I said before, and I know I'm saying it again, 2001 wasn't a good year for CGI to hold up. Draft Park 3, The Lord of the Rings, um, Harry Potter, which still hold up okay, just not all are good. Um, X Men, I think, is was less better. There are all good movies I like, but yeah, those are my negatives. It is understandable, but doesn't really help at all. But aside from that, the CGI in the rest of the movie and effects and practical effects and view of the movie, the coloration, the Contrast in the cinematography and the camera work, they're all great. I love them. Huge Jackman. I do not want to mess with that guy. His performance as Wolverine was awesome. Um, I expected him to be a little bit 
buffer in the movie as he did in the previous in, in the newer movie Dawn, but it's okay. It's his first movie. Wait, this movie did not come out in 2001. When did it appear? 2000. I am such an ass. I'm, I'm such an asshole. Anyway, huge Jackman out of Wolverine. Flawless. Flawless. Um, Charles Xavier and Ian McKellen add Magneto, and oh, it. whatever. Whoever the actor was is Charles Xavier. Come on, they all did a great job. Does it have a Barry as Storm? I even like Rogue in the movie, but she's another one of my negatives. Um, she's more the damsel in distress superhero. I want her to be a little bit more badass. Maybe she does when I rewatch the new movies again, but she won more. Of a, she is good in the movie. She is just more of a damsel in distress. It reminded me of Mary Jane Watson. God, but I do like her. I just don't like how she's a demon in distress. And oh, I need help with everything. I know I can understand where she is coming from. I just she wasn't all sad, saddish throughout the whole movie. If you know what I'm saying. But but the story of the movie. My heart to speak out in the review is very clear to understand in the movie when you watch it. Because, yeah, there's subplots in the movie, but they help with the story. That was the plot they're supposed to do. That will make the X Men strong. And you know what else makes the X Men strong? Where you have all these characters and you know where they're coming from. Um, it's not like the Avengers, even though it's a team of superheroes. It is a group of children being taught by one man to learn how to control their powers and be something else. Not like a group of superheroes coming together to fight the monster, which is awesome. And they kind of did that in this movie, but in the Avengers, the first time where we really got that sense of that adventure. Um, my only problem with the movie is Rogue being a dandel in distress, and the CGI does not hold up well. Some of it. Some of it is good, some of it is not. Anyway, love, 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 love this movie. Good job. Have a tricky Brian Singer. I'm going to give X-Men name mine. So, those are my initial thoughts for the first X-Men movie, which I really enjoy. I cannot wait to see X-Men Apocalypse, despite most of the mixed reviews that I have been receiving. But, it seems like the reviews online is having a more positive response to the movie, so... Yeah, I am pretty excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.